Hello everyone, I'm outside in my park and I want to share with you this book about, can you guess what this book will be about? An insect called a ladybug. This book is Ladybugs by Gail Gibbons. So this book is going to tell us about how ladybugs are born and some different bugs that look like ladybugs and how ladybugs go through their lives. A flower gently sways in the breeze. A small bug is looking for food. It's a ladybug. This is the size of an actual ladybug. They're quite small, littler than my fingernail. You've probably seen one before. Raise your hand if you've seen a, a ladybug or tell, tell your grown up next to you if you've seen a ladybug or the sibling or cousin or friend that's near you. You can talk about a ladybug you might have seen. Many ladybugs fly and move about looking for food. They eat aphids and other insects such as scales and mites that are harmful to plants. So here are ladybugs and here are mites and aphids. So if a ladybug was smaller than my fingernail, when you really see it in real life, this is very big because it's a picture drawing in a picture book. Um, an aphid must be super, super, super tiny. A ladybug is a beetle. The hard outside of an adult ladybug's body protects its soft insides. So this shell around its body is very hard and tough. There are different kinds of ladybugs. So you can see not all ladybugs look like this ladybug. We've got a Seven spotted ladybug, that's the most common one in America. A two spotted ladybug, see we see one, two spots. A four spotted ladybug, this one has a yellow and black head. This one is a banded ladybug, orange, black, and yellow. A mottled ladybug, also orange, black, and yellow a black two-spotted ladybug. So this one is the opposite. Instead of being all red with black spots, it's all black with red spots. And here's a yellow spotted ladybug. I've seen a lot of yellow spotted ladybugs in my day. And here is a, an ash gray ladybug. I don't think I've ever seen a gray ladybug. A black three-spotted ladybug. An orange spotted ladybug and a spotless ladybug. So that's a ladybug that is just red on its shell. They live on six of the seven continents in the world. Many scientists believe there are about 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs around the world, and they believe there are about 475 different types of ladybugs in North America. That's where we live in America. Well, we live in the USA, but North America is a whole continent. So here are the stages of a ladybug. A grown ladybug lays eggs. They leave after they lay the, their eggs. Here are the eggs on the leaf. Ladybugs mate in the spring and the summer. A ladybug finds the mate by scent rather than sight. So they smell the partner that they're going to have baby ladybugs with. They don't see them, they smell them. About a week after mating, the female lays her eggs. During the next week, the eggs turn from yellow to white. Oh, they start to hatch. After a few days, the thin shells begin to split open. The ladybug larvae crawl out. They eat their eggshells and begin eating aphids. There's baby ladybugs. One larva can eat about 30 aphids a day. A larva eats so much that its outside covering becomes too tight. The outside covering splits and is shed. A new larger outside covering takes its place. This is called molting.
The larva continues to eat and get larger. It may molt three more times before it is fully grown. After molting for the last time, the larva attaches itself to a safe place using a sticky liquid at the end of its abdomen. So here are the larva molting. They're losing their outer sh shells again and again. And then it is hanging up on a branch, kind of like, maybe like a caterpillar hangs up to become a butterfly. The ladybug larva is now called a pupa. Outside the covering of the pupa is becoming hard. Inside, the ladybug pupa will continue to develop. It will not eat or move during this time. That's why it had to eat so many aphids before it became a larva. Now the, or a pupa. Now the ladybug pupa begins to split open its hard covering. Head first, the ladybug pulls its body out. The ladybug's body is pale and soft and has no dots. You can see it's also yellow. Its body slowly hardens. Its two delicate transparent inner wings, which will be used for flying, extend to dry. Then they slip back under the hard outer wings for protection. There's the inner wings. They're long. And there are the outer wings. So they can move those in and out of their shell. In about one hour, the ladybug is ready to live a ladybug's life. Dots begin to appear. There's the ladybug dots. Soon the adult ladybug opens its hard wings and unfolds its flying wings. The ladybugs lift itself up into the air. It will spend its life going from plant to plant, eating aphids and other insects. Danger! The ladybug has many enemies, including birds, frogs, and other insects. Here's how it defends itself. It has a bright color, which is nature's warning to others that the insect may be poisonous or just taste bad. When a ladybug is attacked, a, joint le a leg joint oozes a yellow fluid. It has a terrible smell that keeps enemies away. A ladybug will also pretend to be dead, and then a predator will lose interest. Here's another page of things that might eat a ladybug. So a blue jay might eat a ladybug. A praying mantis might eat a ladybug. A frog might eat a ladybug. Ladybugs must protect themselves from cold winter weather. Thousands of ladybugs find a safe warm place such as a rock, under a rock, or nestled under leaves. And then their bodies keep each other warm. These ladybugs are flying to a warmer climate where there's no snow. In the late 1800s, many crops in California were attacked by destructive insects. When lots of ladybugs were released into the fields, they ate the destructive insects. Within a year, crops were thriving again. So that means that ladybugs are a bug that can help people to grow their food by taking care of the bugs that are not safe for food. So that, my friends, is a story about ladybugs, or not a story, but the truth about ladybugs, all of the important facts about ladybugs. And next, I want to show you, my friends, that it is very easy to draw a ladybug. So, we get our paper and our crayons, and guess what? To make a ladybug, we only really need two colors. What colors do you think we need? Yes, red and black. So I'm taking a red crayon and a black crayon. My friends, all we need to do is draw a red circle. And we can color it all in. doing a one-handed drawing, my friends, because I'm holding the camera up to show you what I'm drawing. So one red circle, and then we can do, see, we'll get the spots on this. This is a seven-spotted ladybug. So this ladybug has a big spot up at the top, 
and then three spots on its sides. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we can give our ladybug some legs. So two legs up in the front and one in the back. That's three legs on each side because all insects have six legs. And then we'll give her a little, little head, a little face with an antenna. And that's how we draw a ladybug. So friends, if you decide to draw a ladybug, ask your grown-up to send the picture to the Wildflower North email, and we can post that so that everyone can see your drawing. We'd love to share your drawings of ladybugs. Have a wonderful sunny day. Bye-bye.